Club Penguin, the MMO for children from 6 to 12, has recently announced it'll be shutting down on March 29th. It's incredible to think that at one point the site hosted millions of players across the globe, bringing them all together in a virtual world of friends, games, and entertainment. Of course all big ideas need to start from somewhere, and Club Penguin is no exception. The multi-million dollar game that once entertained so many children actually spawned out of a basement project in Flash, designed originally to be an entirely different and much smaller game. On February 28th of the year 2000, Lance Pree, a developer going by the name of Rocket Snail, released the Flash-based game, Ballistic Biscuit, to help promote the Green Bay Bible Camp. It featured a camp counselor riding in an inner tube behind a boat who had to jump over various obstacles. Not long after the release of Ballistic Biscuit, Pree began toying with another idea. He wanted to create an online strategy game involving throwing snowballs, which went by the name Snow Blasters. After seeing a Farside comic on his desk, he decided to have the in-game characters be penguins. To test his idea of a Flash-based multiplayer game, Preeb created Experimental Penguins in July, just months after his previous release. The game itself was rather limited, with only a few mostly undecorated rooms. However, even as the first incarnation of Club Penguin, some elements were included which still remain in the game to this day, like chat, being able to walk around to different locations, and some character animations. After a year, Experimental Penguins was shut down due to server costs, but its popularity led to Preeb receiving requests to create similar games for other sites with other characters. Preeb quickly released a new version, called Penguin Chat, and its sequel, Penguin Chat 2, in 2003. With each iteration, the game became closer to the present-day Club Penguin, with rooms being added, new artwork, and even the inclusion of older Rocket Snail titles such as Ballistic Biscuit as Hydro Hopper and Mankawa. Not long after the release of Penguin Chat 2, Preeb had decided that the purpose of his game would be to create a safe virtual playground for children online, creating several design requirements for the next version. Penguin Chat 3 released in April 2005 in order to test a new version of the client for the software, with some players being invited to participate in the Club Penguin beta. The goals of Penguin Chat 3 were to make the website safe for children, which was achieved through moderators, determine a method of income without advertisements, which eventually became a paid premium membership, and to make the servers be able to handle larger amounts of players. After forming a team and beginning full-time work on the project, the beta was ready for testing. On August 22nd of 2005, the beta was open to 15,000 players with a party in an attempt to test the ability of the new server software to handle massive amounts of users at once. Party hats were given out, and the tradition of throwing parties in-game was born. By October 24th of the same year, the website was stable enough to launch, albeit still in an unfinished state. Several months afterwards in March, the site had reached over a million user accounts, with 2.6 million by September. Remarkably, all of this growth was from word of mouth, rather than advertising, and earlier versions of Penguin Chat being available on the game website Miniquip. Despite rewrites of the game code and a rapidly growing staff, Club Penguin was having trouble keeping up with this growth. With 12 million users and over 100 employees by 2007, it became clear that a website would need a partner to help manage its growth. That partner arrived on the 1st of August when Club Penguin was bought by Disney for $350.93 million. The game continued to grow in popularity, with new content being added weekly. Alongside the online game, Disney released toys, card games, two Nintendo DS titles, a Wii title, books, and even several television specials. Interest in the game peaked around 2010, yet by 2013 the site had over 200 million unique users. It was clear still that most children who might use the site were beginning to turn to mobile devices, as traffic to the Club Penguin website waned. By early 2015, Disney had begun to reduce the size of the Club Penguin team, and later that year, the German and Russian versions of the site were shut down. By November of the next year, a completely new version of the game designed for mobile was announced, called Club Penguin Island. Not long after, the online version of the game was announced to be cancelled by March 29th of this year. Lance Preeb himself had left Club Penguin long before it was announced to be cancelled, though. In 2010, after 10 years on the project, he decided to work on something new. With a former Disney employee, Preeb founded the company Hyper Hippo Productions. While not yet at the levels of popularity Club Penguin saw, their game, Adventure Capitalist, has seen very good success on the App Store, Google Play, and Steam. Club Penguin has existed for nearly 12 years, with its full development history being about 17 years. Oddly enough, around the same age as many of its users, most of which who have grown out of the game. At this point, the game is mostly just a nostalgic memory of a truly unique idea for children's entertainment online, and with that, it's not surprising why that memory is soon coming to an end. Traffic for the site has decayed since 2010, with simply the announcement of its cancellation returning it to levels it hadn't seen since three years ago. 
The user base for the original Club Penguin is simply grown up. What was most likely the first online multiplayer gaming experience for many is soon to end, but even so, it'll certainly be remembered fondly by those who used to play it.